Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Continuous duty pencil sharpener. Never a dull moment. Ha <laughs> ha! Unbelievable. Well, let's get this thing unplugged before it burns out. It overheats or whatever it might do. And let's get this over to the bench and see if we can fix it. Well, that's undesirable. just in the middle of cleaning up down here and I had a pile of pencils I wanted to sharpen before I brought them upstairs and well this is the result of doing that it's all filthy from that uh, printer shelf installation okay let's find out what the problem might be here obviously it's something with uh, with the um, switch but I just don't know exactly how it works in this particular unit I gotta put the carpet back on the bench I really liked having it that way because it's something like this we just put it down that way I don't have to worry about it getting scratched up or anything so we have two screws here uh, this is the Panasonic KP310 pencil sharpener this one's lower power draw it's 1.2 amps but it must have some serious well, something seriously sticky on there it must have some serious gear reduction because you can put that pencil in there pretty hard and it still runs it runs very slow though um, but it's a great sharpener as most of these Panasonic ones were but even the best equipment can occasionally have breakdowns. Oh, this is not looking like it's going to be easily serviced. There is plenty of grease in there still. It runs very freely. I've never even had to oil it. Hmm. No, this has to. Oh, there we go. Maybe this is easily serviced. Oh, it's easily serviced. So it looks like part of the switch is inside of here. It appears to be that when you stick this in here, it pushes that over. That I think is working properly. That seems to have a good amount of spring to it still. I don't think that that's the source of the problem. So whatever that contacts might be the source of the problem. It's got an interesting motor in there. It's uh, it's a two pole. Usually it's just have a cheesy C frame motor, but this is a two pole motor. So the switch that that pushes is right here. And that is kind of dodgy. It's very loose. I wonder if it broke. I don't see why it would be sticking though. It's very, very loose, which I don't like. It's also out of frame, which I don't like. I 
wonder if that's just the way that it's that it is. I can't really feel any way that this would be sticking. Really doesn't seem like either one of these components would be sticking. Let's just put it back together and see if it starts to work again. That's a very unusual design. do nothing but it seems to be okay it does have some pretty serious gear reduction well it's working now I don't know what changed I have no explanation. <laughs> 